3.2.19, our equation to be differentiated is y is equal to phi to the third power minus 2 phi square root phi all over v. Notice that we only have one thing on the denominator. In this case, we can actually avoid use the quotient rule, because if we do split the fraction first, then we don't need to use the quotient rule. So this is how it works. I'm going to simplify the first part as phi to the third power over phi. Right, I can do this especially when I have one thing on the denominator. Phi to the third power over phi. And the second part will be minus 2 phi square root phi on the numerator. And the denominator is also over phi. Break down into two fractions. If we do it this way, here on the first part we can simplify. So phi to the third power over phi, I can cancel out one of the phi's. So it will be just phi to the second power. And on the second part, 2 phi over phi right here. I can cancel out the phi's and I will just leave with 2 square root phi, right? So we can reduce our equation to phi to the second power minus the 2 right here. And then don't forget we still have the square root phi. But in calculus, when we're taking derivative, especially we just begin to see how to do, uh, take the derivative. Let us write square root phi as phi to the one half power. And as you can see, this is not a quotient anymore. This is just a regular power rule quotient. So to take the derivative of this, we might well just take the derivative of that. And we'll do that. So y prime equals to derivative of phi to the second power is two phi. And for the second part, if I want to take the derivative of negative two phi to the one half, once again, circle the exponents, bring to the front, and then minus one to that, all right? And negative 2 times 1 half is just negative 1. And we have v to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half power. And altogether, we can also rewrite this as 2v minus, can bring this down to a denominator as 1 over square root of v, just like this.